Hi everyone, welcome to Stories with Lori. Today we're going to read The Day Dirk Yeller Came to Town, and it is by Mary Casanova. Kind of a Western theme. Hope you like it. The day Dirk Yeller came to town, the wind curled its lip. Cattle quit lowing and tumbleweeds stopped tumbling along. Townsfolk whispered, he starts stampedes. He holds up trains. He is trouble. Hmm. But I reckon Dirk Yeller had come to town at a good time because I had just hit a home run through a window. And Pa always said, Sam, you're a world of trouble and curious as a tomcat. So when Dirk Yeller tromped into the post office, I dropped my broom to follow. I'm looking for something, the outlaw growled, to take away my cat's scratch fever. His fingers were itching and a-twitching. The postmaster backed away, but I wasn't worried. Sometimes I was fidgety, too. The postmaster stammered to try some calming el elixir from the general store. At the general store, merchandise went a-flying. I'm looking for something, Dirk Yeller said, to keep a coyote from baying at the moon. Mrs. Peterson drew her children close. Have mercy. But I wasn't scared. Sometimes I felt a little wild, too. Why, just yesterday, I had dropped a toad down the dress of Emma Peterson. Mrs. Peterson trembled. Try those live traps over at the trading post. Well, I skedaddled, too. At the trading post, rakes and shovels clattered. I'm fixing to find something, said Dirk, to keep jumping beans from jumping. And like Dirk Yeller, sometimes I was jumpy too. Shorty wiped his brow. I know nothing about jumping beans, but maybe you'd like some new boots. Dirk Yeller shook his head. Well, go try the saloon. At the saloon, Dirk's fingers were a-itching and a-twitching. His eyes were train tunnel dark. Must be something here, he boomed, to keep rattlesnakes from rattling. Customers darted for safety. But clear as well water, Dirk Yeller just couldn't sit still. What you need, said Swagger and Sal, is a nice cup of hot coffee. Try the jailhouse. So Dirk Yeller stomped out. At the jailhouse, Dirk Yeller warned, I'm itching for something and I won't stop until I find what I'm looking for. We're peaceful loving folks, said the sheriff, and I'm serving you notice. Ride your horse out of town before sundown. Dirk Yeller, he gulped the sheriff's coffee, then left with a slam. The sheriff spotted me. Sam, I tipped my hat and scrammed. Oh boy. Down the boardwalk, Dirk Yeller stomped. Through dust and dung, Dirk Yeller clomped. And in the middle of the street, he stopped. I suddenly remembered what always helped me. I gulped down my jitters and stepped in the outlaw's shadow. Dirk Yeller's eyes drilled into my backbone, but I held my ground and stood tall like a world of trouble. Dirk Yeller, I said, if I can show you how to stop your itching and a twitching and your jumping and a rattling, will you promise to leave our town in peace? The outlaw, he gave a snort, which I took to mean yes. Then follow me, said Sam. To my relief, glory be, Dirk Yeller tromped right after me. Where do you think they're going? Inside the new building, he was itching like a dog, scratching fleas. His eyes were coiled for trouble. But Miss Jenny didn't seem scared. Sweet as pecan pie, she asked, May I help you? I'm looking for something, Dirk Yeller grumbled, to take away my cat scratch fever, to keep coyotes from baying at the moon, to keep jumping beans from jumping, to keep rattlesnakes from... Come with me, she said. And look how pretty she is, huh?
Very sweet and nice. Let's see what happens. Then she led the way to a tall stack of books. This one, she asked, or perhaps this? Dirk Yeller opened a book, then started to mouth the words. I could tell he wasn't a really strong reader. When he stumbled on a hard word, his face turned red as Ma's blue ribbon tomatoes. So I whispered, here, Mr. Yeller, let me help. And together we sounded out word after word. Soon Dirk Yeller was turning one page, then another. And the more the outlaw read, the less he itched and twitched. The more he read, the less he jumped and jittered. Sure as shooting, Dirk Yeller was sitting still. Before long, the sun sank low. The sheriff rattled handcuffs in warning. And then Miss Jenny called out, closing time. The outlaw glared, I'll be back. The townsfolk froze and I froze too. What if I'd been all wrong? I'll be back, Dirk Yeller said, to check out more books. And the people cheered. And then he winked. And lastly, he said, and to see Miss Jenny. He's no fool. He wants to see that pretty lady. Saddlebags full, Dirk Yeller rode off into the sunset. The wind blew a sigh of relief. Cattle started lowing and tumbleweeds went back to tumbling along. And Sam and Jenny were just dancing together. So happy. And ever since, the library has become the busiest place in town, especially for folks with curious, restless minds like Dirk Yeller and me. Restless boys, huh? Big and small. The Day Dirk Yeller Came to Town by Mary Casanova. That was kind of a fun little Western story. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time right here on Stories with Lauren.